Aha! Asisa, how to activate your future. In the last few videos, I've been using the term Isisa, and I'm shifting that to Asisa. I will tell you more about it, but Isisa seems to create a little bit of confusion or dissonance. So it's a vibration or it's a frequency. And this morning, I was getting really the download or the impression or the flow of a new vibration that, you know, it's the same vibration or same frequency, but I'm going to start calling it Asisa to see how it feels into my system. So how to activate your future. Imagine that a lot of what we do in our education, in our training, in our conditioning, in, in life, uh, is based on what happened in the past. We get taught history, we get tuned into traditions that have been designed thousand or two thousand years ago. We read scriptures that were written by prophets, you know, hundreds of years ago. And so what all this is doing is that it's activating a flow of energy which is based on the past. It's, uh, you know, it has been crystallized at a moment in our history and this crystallized form, this is what we are tuning into, into something that is from the past. And yes, of course, there is a dimension which is eternal to all that, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily um, completely anchor there but what we are doing is like we are looking to our past to understand how to behave today and what i invite you to do is to imagine that instead of um dragging this wisdom from the past you tune into something that is in the future and doesn't exist yet into human consciousness that hasn't been manifested yet instead of repeating a tradition that already exists we are designing something that is not yet created and by doing that we are downloading or transmitting something into human consciousness that is pulling us forward into our evolution you know it makes sense logically right so those codes what i call the codes of asisa asisa are new codes of evolution for the planet and humankind and uh, i feel that very strongly you know, the, the, the patterns, the programs on which we have been functioning for, uh, you know, for the last hundreds of years, a lot of this is outdated because these are programs that were designed at a certain moment in our human consciousness. And those programs are, you know, simply need an upgrade, a little bit like a, a software uh, for your, you know, laptop needs an upgrade. It's a little bit in the same thing. You know, we need an upgrade as a human race because there is lots of things that we are doing that are no longer adapted or are no longer optimized for our uh, planet and for humankind. And so some of these things have to do with the way we relate to each other, you know, relationships, marriage, the structure of families and stuff like that. Um, another aspect is the way we relate to the planet, to humankind, of course, you know, look at the way, you know, corporations are treating the planet, the way we are engaging into organizations, the way organizations are structured, which are limiting a lot human freedom, uh, the way we treat our bodies, you know, the, our relationship to food, our relationship to our own, own thoughts, belief systems. You know, we, we are bringing right now a whole new uh, set of consciousness that are going to project us forward. This is the idea. And um, it is important to understand how the process works so that you can tune into it and be more effective at bringing that into your life. The question that I have for you is, do you want to keep on duplicating and, uh, you know, producing the patterns of the past or do you want to generate something that is going to pull you forward into the future? So right now it's just an idea, just a concept. If you want to tune into that, start using this word, Asisa. It's very simple. It's, uh, you know, it's connected with the ancient goddess of Egypt, but it's an actualized form of an energy which is transmitted right now into this planet Earth and that we can tune into. That contains this code of evolution. And, uh, you know, it's an unlimited field of potential and reality. We are not talking about something that is human-like consciousness. It's something which is way, way vaster. I will give you more uh, details about that, what my, my inspiration is, my, what my intuition is, how it works, how it impacts my system, how it transmits, how you, know, how you can tune into that reality. But basically what I'm saying right now is that you actually can consciously activate your future rather than activating your past. I love you.